What is up my crazy subscriber? This is Joking Johnson 4 here bring us more Black Ops 3 multiplayer gameplay. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's gameplay because I managed to go 51 kills and 10 deaths. That's pretty much of a high KD right there. And also, by the way, if you guys missed out on my last gameplay, I ended up going 105 kills and around 40 deaths. But overall, I ended up breaking two personal records, which is uh, the highest amount of kills in a single gameplay, which is 105. It went from 98 kills, which was set from Black Ops 1, all the way to 105, which is uh, now our, our new personal record and that was a good feat that was a great uh, achievement because I never done that before and also got, I got a hundred kills for the first time ever in a single gameplay in Call of Duty so um, overall it was a good gameplay and everything and uh, one thing that I want to bring from that gameplay is this weapon right here that you see on your screen the HVK the reason why is because in that, in that same gameplay where I went to 105 kills I used the HVK in the second half and it was a total beast I think I went like a total like around 50 kills and 20 deaths in total uh, in the second half because the first half I ended up using the BRM uh, the ICR and several other weapons that I picked up along the way so uh, but but in the second half I ended up using the HVK so what I wanted to do in this gameplay is show you guys how it works from short range because I know most of you guys think like oh you know some certain weapons look from a certain range and uh, short range might not even make a single you know pint of damage it really does some kind of damage as long as you're quick about it and um, this gameplay pretty much proves you that uh, it's still good from short range short range to all the way to long range the weapon is still good the problem is yes a little bit of long range uh, I do see a little bit of a problem because the recoil goes like way up and um, it point makes the gun points up and uh, you can kind of miss some bullets against you know long range people and um, but overall you should be able to have like a, a balanced out weapon once you get the attachments like the grip and the quick draw. Uh, the quick draw will allow you to like actually aim people from close range and uh, also take off people as fast as possible from short range like it was an, an SMG. And then the grip will allow you to actually shoot from uh, medium range to long range. Without it, the gun's gonna go all over your goddamn place on the screen. So make sure you know you add those two attachments. So um, another thing that I want to announce, guys, there's gonna be a best class setup for this weapon, and um, I'll probably post it up like in a few days so you guys can see the full details of what I used on the gameplay where I went 105 kills and uh, around like a 40 deaths. It's still a great gameplay, still overall great gameplay because uh, in the second half I know I survived longer with the HVK. So, um, so yeah guys, I uh, just wanted to show you how it works from short range because I know in the other gameplay it was all about long range and medium range. So yeah, this this map is pretty much of a great example. So I just say guys, I don't want to talk about the HVK. Use it, lose it. What do you guys think about this weapon? Is it good or not? Because I know most of you guys use the several different weapons like the Man of War and the uh, Four Round Burst M8. It's just that um, I believe the HVK does have potential. Uh, let's just hope, let's just really hope that David Von Der Haar does not nerf this fucking weapon. Because in the first day of this game, the HVK wasn't doing crap for me. And uh, it was a total beast back in, um, back in the Black Ops 3 beta. And, um, you know, I wish it was going to be like that, like, for the rest of the time. But, um, at the end, they ended up uh, nerfing this gun on day one, and that kind of sucked. Because it kind of eliminated a great weapon, and also it was an all-around weapon that kind of felt like an SMG. But it gives you guys a little bit more range at the same time. So, the HVK was sadly nerfed after, you know, after the beta. But, uh, overall, it's still doing good for me. Seeing, seeing that I just went 105 kills, and also 51 kills and 10 deaths in a single gameplay... Pretty much shows you that you can pretty much survive with this weapon most of the time. So, um, and by the way, here's an example from long range. As you can see, the weapon sometimes just really rattles and you just can't aim from long range. You just really can't get those bullets like there 100% of the time, even with foregrip. So, make sure you're patient from long range. But from medium range and short range, make sure you act quick. Because if you don't act quick, this weapon will not react how you want it to react. Because sometimes it goes by polar mode. It doesn't make the, the damage that you want it to make. And um, it's all over the goddamn place, you know, sometimes. But if you're patient enough, this weapon will work for you perfectly. And um, if you're using SMGs right now, this weapon can be one way you can convert from SMGs to uh, assault rifles because that's how I did it that's how I, I went slowly from SMGs to assault rifles I mostly used the Vesper and the VMP so um, yeah it's rare to see myself with uh, with an assault rifle and the best way to convert myself from SMGs to assault rifles is by using a high rapid fire assault rifle so I can see like how I can like kind of customize it and kind of make it perform like an SMG so that was one way I can make the HVK work 
So that is it, guys. I wanted to talk about the HBK Best Class that will be, will be uh, coming out in a few days. Make sure you check out my previous gameplay where I went 105 kills and 44 deaths overall. I just wish I would have won that game and also survived a little bit longer because uh, I believe I would have hit at least 120 kills in that gameplay. It's just sad to me that uh, my teammates will back out like towards the end. It's just... It really fucking sucks. I really I really wish I would have gotten more. But anyways, yeah guys, leave a like, leave a comment, tell me what's up in this video. If you guys want to see more Black Ops 3 multiplayer, please subscribe for more because more stuff coming up.